All right, we want you to set the record straight. How do you pronounce your name? My last name? Yes. Uh, contrary to what everyone thinks, is Floreal. Floreal. Yeah, not Flo Real. Not Flo Rida. Flo, no. <laughs> Floreal. Floreal. All right. And your dad's the track coach. Yes. Did you? Did you? I guess you ran track at Dunbar last year too. Yeah, I ran in uh, Dunbar when I was in California. What? What events do you run? Excuse me. Um, the 100 and 200. So I'm a sprinter. Oh, you're a sprinter. What's your best time? In the 100, I ran a 10.5. Wow, that's good. And then the 200, I ran a 21.1. You know, Tyson Gay's from here in Lexington, fastest human ever in the United States. He went to Lafayette High School. I actually beat his time. Did you really in high school? Yeah. We, uh, cause I met him, so I've, I've talked to him a couple of times. But... So you, didn't t you talk smack about it? Hey, dude, I beat your time. Oh, of course. Um, I'm trying to remember which time it was. I think he beat me in the hundred in high school, cause he ran like a 10.4. Yeah. But in high school, I, my 200 time was faster than his actually. So I, you know, I rubbed that in. And I tweeted it back, and he replied. So it was cool. So did you win the state title in the hundred and 200? I actually didn't. Um, Somebody beat you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't really run great races. I didn't really prepare myself like I should have. I kind of thought that I'd walk in and win. You know, coming from California, when you get third or like third, second, you think that, oh, I'm just going to walk in and be all these Kentucky kids. And I took that for granted. So, Dad didn't probably bring that up to you either, did he? Track coach saying, hey, see, you got to prepare every race. Oh, no, he brought it up. He's, he's hard on me, and I wouldn't expect it any way. He was just like, you didn't do what we practiced. And I was like, you're right. I, I came in, you know, too confident. So when was the decision made to walk on basketball? Talk about the process and your conversation with Coach Cal. Um, the decision was probably made right after track season. When uh, my dad said, look, you got to decide now. Are you going to take one of your scholarships? Or are you going to and go back to California and play? Or are you going to stay here and walk on? And, um, we talked about it. He's just like, what are your goals? And I was like, I want to be the best player I can be. I want to reach my goals. I want to play the next level. I, you know, there's so many things I wanted to do. And, you know, to do those, I feel like you have to be with the best, regardless of where you're going to be. So I feel like I had to come here and, you know, get better. And, and uh, my conversation with Cal was just because he's never seen me play. So it's he's got to, you know, go off, I guess, my dad's reputation, you know, because he's a hard worker. So they got to assume that I'm going to be a hard worker. I just told him I needed a chance. And he, he, he believed in me and he gave me a chance. And I think that he's excited just like I am. Well. You picked a great place to try to get better because every day in practice you're going against guys that are going to be in the NBA next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm trying to learn for uh, learn from them before any of them go. You know, and the ones that stay, I can keep learning from them. So, you know, I think this is just a great opportunity. You know, with with Todd being another Dunbar guy, there's a couple of you guys that are really here to do everything you can to help the team. So, what, what do you think is expected of you this year to make this team better? I think because athletically, I can play with everyone on this team that I can push people. Um, you know, and if, and if I needed to like simulate an athlete on another team, you know, I can do that too. But at the same time, I'm going to keep learning because I want to contribute. You know, I'm not, I didn't want to come here and ride the pine for four years. I want to be a contributor on the team. So, you know, they they released a video of people dunking yesterday. I think yours was the best. Oh man, that's what I thought too. Everyone thought James's was, no. which is is cool. But all I thought I thought my two were the best too. So I'm I'm excited to hear someone else say that. I think if if they don't know who you are. After they saw that video, they're going to know who you are. Yeah. Um, and, you know, being athletic, you know, my family, you know, my dad's a jumper, my mom's a sprinter. When I tell people that, they kind of, their eyes open up like you have the perfect genes. So, you know, ath ath like, I've always been a really good athlete, you know, no matter where I've been. And um, I'm just really trying to get my skills down. And I feel like if I can really get my skills, I can reach my full potential and I can be a special player. And I think that's why Cal let me on the team partly is that he was hoping to get a gym. You know, John Hood over here a while ago said he high jumped seven foot in high school. Do you believe that? No. That's what he's saying. No. Seven foot. No. I don't believe him. He said he cleared seven foot. I don't believe him. I don't. I love Hoodie, but I don't believe him. Did you, have you, did you high jump also? Um, not like for competition, but for fun. But yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know about seven foot. I what mean, I know Hoodie, Hoodie's athletic, but that's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got, uh, we let people submit questions. From Kentucky Sports Radio. So pick a number between 1 and 10 uh, so we can uh, give you a question from, from a reader. Number two, what is the one thing you need to do most to make this team successful this year? This is from Eris. Um, I have to push my teammates and I have to get better. You know, in order to be successful, we got to make practices just as tough, if not tougher, than games. Um, and I feel like if I can push my teammates and I can get better, I can keep working and getting better to push them even more. So I feel like that would be the thing that we'd have to do the most. 